For me, it is about the law and people. That is not a legal defense, let me tell you. And how people can resolve and better themselves. Justice with passion. I knew I was going to go into law because I always defended everybody. I was always the one who found a solution and tried to resolve the problem by having people talk to each other. Justice with truth. So I'm giving you one more chance to tell me the truth. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Tabitha Johnson is suing Kenny Baker in the amount of $400. Ms. Johnson claims she hired Mr. Baker as a model for her fashion line and says she had to replace him because he looked nothing like his photos. Mr. Baker is countersuing for $350. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Um, I understand you are a fashion designer. Yes, I am. And you started your own fashion line? Yes, I you? did. Well, um, I used to work for a fashion design company. One day I was there just like sketching at my desk. Um, there was a dress uh, that I was sketching and the uh, my boss overlooked it and immediately like had it made up and done up, but they didn't give me the credit for it. So I quit and started doing fashion myself. Okay, and what do you design? Tell me. Um, I design menswear, so uh, it is like swimwear and acti active wear for uh, for men, and mm -hmm. um, it's it's been it's been fun. And so when I was first starting out, I was looking into hiring models to uh, shoot the clothes that I've been designing. So I looked online to find models, particularly fit models, clean shaven um, models that uh, male models that you know would look very appealing to you know, the, the, the public eye, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, so that's so I, a question in your ad looking out or your solicitation when you were looking for models, did you give that description? I didn't, didn't, but I didn't think I needed to because, because when I found, because um, what you were saying, cause it was menswear, I mean, swimwear, things of that. Um, the, well, the photos that I seen, um, and reached well, out do to Do you him. have any evidence to show what ad you put out or anything of that nature? No, I do not have any evidence to All say right. like what my description was. Why did you like Mr. Baker? Why did you like his look? He's not clean shaven. <laughs> uh, I like Mr. I Baker. Mean, I'm sorry, you no, have a mustache. No, just today, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have a mustache. Well, I liked him initially because the photos that I actually do have here okay. were clean shaven. Well, he looks good. Let me see the pictures. Absolutely. Also, I've included um, my receipt there for so how did you find, how did she find you, Mr. Baker? So uh, she, like she said, she didn't put out any ad. Ms. Johnson didn't put out any ad. I have a website where I have various photos of different looks. Some are clean shaven, some are not clean shaven, some are uh -huh. shirtless, some are not shirtless. And I have a form on there that people can contact me through. It acts as a series of questions of what's the shoot is, what's the clothing, what do I need to know, how many hours. Uh, it also has my phone number, and Ms. Uh, Ms. Johnson actually reached out to me through my phone number instead of using the form. Okay, so she found you through your website. Yeah, that's right. Not a modeling agency? Nothing. No, I'm not represented. Okay, so she Googled you, or how did you find him? Uh, there's like a quick uh, search on, there's like, you know, maybe male, I think I searched something like male models, or maybe even social media. Oh, I think I it see. was social media, yeah. Okay, and you immediately saw him, and you liked his look because yeah, they're gorgeous he had, pictures. He, he was definitely, you know, good looking. He, yeah, they're gorgeous he, pictures. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah. Even now, it's, it's, he looks nice, but this is oh, not yeah. the look that yeah, I Yeah, so wanted. this is what you saw on the website. Yes. Are, yeah, okay. some selfies, some outdoor shoots. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, right. Were those arms? See those arms? They don't look nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing a long sleeve shirt. All right. Shirt. When you contacted uh, Mr. Baker, did you tell him that you were looking for somebody to model swimwear? I did not, and that is because what I seen was what I assumed could, would be presented. These were recent photos. So I'm not seeing, I, I don't know if you have a six pack. I don't want to know. But, <laughs> so, you cannot tell if he has a six pack. And I couldn't tell from his, uh, this picture if he had a six pack. Like I said, I assumed that he would be cut. And, and that was because in his photos previously, it looked like he was cut. You know, How recent have... were these photos? Uh, all the photos on the actual website are dated. So some of those are from when I just started out, so maybe three or four years ago. And then some of them are from a year or two ago, maybe last summer. Did you know summer. that they were dated? They were not dated. They are dated on the website if you hover over them. Huh. Okay. All right. So you texted him. What did you say to him? Um, I told him that I was looking for a male model. He fit the bill. I told him the rate, which was three fifty for the for the time, and uh, that where we would be shooting. And he responded and said everything was fine. And so I didn't really push any further details, just because 
I expected him to show up very professionally in how he looked in his photos. It was a very vague uh, request. I actually have the text messages if you want to see the initial text messages. Yeah. And like I said, afterwards, I followed up with a phone call to get some details. And all Miss Johnson told me is that uh, the clothing would be provided. I asked her if there was anything I needed to bring or prepare. She told me to just come with a, a, you know, a good amount of energy, ready for a four-hour shoot, and also to eat beforehand because she wasn't going to be providing food. So I did go eat before I came. Okay. Which I feel uh, it might have contributed a little bit because I had a big lunch. I didn't know I was going to be shirtless. Well, I mean, it's eating beforehand and actually like a couple sizes of up than your okay, photo shot. That. That's like fun. definitely. <laughs> okay, all right. So he was then, like three sizes. So then Tabitha, oh, nice. um, you send this to him. Say, hey, Kenny, I'm doing a model runway shoot at my house. I want to see if you're available. Yes, when and where, how'd you find me, what is the rate, 2 p.m., address, cool, count me in, do I need to bring any specific wardrobe, nope, clothing will be provided, let me know if you have any questions. Nowhere do you say it's for swimsuit or no. casual clothing. No. And neither did she. he knows he's going to be modeling gloves <laughs> or shoes. Sure. He, absolutely, I think that, that um, he should be prepared to be modeling anything, absolutely. He is a professional as he presented himself. He has a website. With, with, has... With, with all due respect, and with all due respect to you, Mr. Baker, he's not a professional model. Coming up on Justice For All. This day I had eaten a big meal beforehand because I was told to have a lot of energy, so I had uh, a burrito beforehand to give myself a little carbo Yeah, load. but a burrito doesn't wash away a washboard stomach. And later. My boyfriend Jeremy called to make sure that I made it home safely, and it was mostly muscle memory, like where the gate hesitates, and um, I didn't have enough time to stop. We're back with the case of Tabitha Johnson, who is suing Kenny Baker for breach of contract. So what were you wearing and what did you look like when you arrived at her house? I believe I was just in comfortable jeans and a, like a loose t-shirt, because like she said, uh, the wardrobe was gonna be provided to me, so I didn't dress fancy or anything or go out of my way. Okay, and how tall are you? I'm 5'11". And how much do you weigh? About 190. 190? It's pretty fit. He I can bench 255. I would helps. say right now he showed up about 15 pounds heavier to my house Jeez. than he is right now. And it was, I, I was not Did you in just a go on a diet recently? Now, so, I was, Yana, usually when I talk to people about swimwear shoots, they will tell me ahead of time. We booked about two weeks out. That swimwear, you're going to be shirtless, so I'll kind of do a strong cleanse. Like I said, this day I had eaten a big meal beforehand because I was told to have a lot of energy, so I had uh, a burrito beforehand to give myself a little carbo Yeah, load. but a burrito doesn't wash away a washboard stomach. Right. I feel, though, that if uh, given the time, we had about two hours before we were going to shoot, so she wanted to be there at 2 o'clock for fitting and checking, but the shoot wasn't actually going to start till 4 o'clock. Okay. So what were the clothes that he was going to uh, model? He was going to be wearing um, a variety of things, swimwear mixed in with a athletic wear. So Okay, so when you saw him, why didn't you just say, okay, he's not wearing a swim, a swim trunk, or how did you know he didn't have a six-pack? Um, because when he did take off his shirt, because I asked him, I, I, was going, I was willing to work with a scruff, and I feel like that's still a desired look for, for what I was trying to do. But when he took off his shirt, because I, I, I continued with this, he was here, um, it was energy. like beer belly. Like he was like, it was like okay. pregnancy. All right, so then at that moment you had a model, why don't you just have him uh, model the pants and the shorts and the shirts and I don't know, I, you didn't show me I just didn't think that it was in my best to interest to continue to work with someone okay, unprofessional. Can you show me what you wanted to model? Uh, I do not have... Okay. Um, All right, so those are things that are important to me because you're asking, you're suing for $400 because you basically told them to leave and you hired somebody else, so you therefore had a $400 bill to hire somebody else, right? Immediately Immediately, well. yes. okay. And he's kind of suing you because he's like, hey, I showed up and I did everything you wanted me to do and you fired me and I took the time out and we had a contract, essentially, so he's counter suing you for $350. Sure. So... It would be important for me to know what you wanted him to wear, what you could have done, because essentially you two had a contract for services. You hired him as a model. He was supposed to model. He had no idea what he was going to model. You should have asked. But if you're saying, claiming that he breached this contract, you have to also show me that you really tried to 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 fix it yourself. Right? I did. I mean, or that he tried. You he, didn't. He, he, he made did. him take your shirt off, his shirt off, and you said, "I don't need you. Goodbye." You should have been more detailed and more clear, and you should have demanded more. You're hiring somebody. You're paying somebody three hundred fifty dollars. 
So you have to be clear. I want this. I want this. I want that. When, how old were the pictures? What do you look like now? Can you please text me a picture of yourself today? What you look like? If he came looking completely different, then you would have known that's not right. That's not what I hired you. Sorry, you just sent me a picture. But you didn't, okay? So I'm not going to reward you for not doing your homework and not being professional in the sense of really making sure, dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's. That's what you have to do when you have your own business. You have to be aggressive in the nicest way you have to protect yourself you have to demand what you want in order to get what you want so let this be a good learning lesson for sure. you so unfortunately based on the evidence I will deny your claim for $400 now however I'm going to grant this claim for $350 he showed up he showed up you contracted him to come he didn't even and have the things that he was Ms. Johnson to. Ms. Johnson you hired him this was your contract. This is your social media in today's world contract. You didn't even ask for his size. Well, I mean, you didn't I... even ask for his size of clothes, shorts, pants, nothing. No measurements, how much you weigh, can you confirm your, 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 how tall you are, what's your waist size, nothing. They implied in nothing. the text that he should how look like his... Okay, Miss his... Johnson, the more you argue with me, the more you're digging yourself in a hole, and the more I'm going to believe that you do, you do not have what it takes to make it in the business. And that's a very harsh thing. Why is it harsh? Because I want you to succeed. I want to see that you will succeed and be a very good fashion designer. You actually have to put it down so this never happens to you again. Do you understand me? Sure, yes. All right. So based on the evidence, I will deny your claim for $400 and I will uh, grant the defendant's counterclaim for $350. Good luck. Thank you. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff has been ordered to pay $350. I should have asked you more questions, but you definitely misrepresented yourself. So I'm sorry you feel that way, okay? But today I feel like justice was served. And honestly, if you want me to work with you again in the future, I'm more than willing to, okay? Coming up on Justice For All. I felt really bad about it all, of course, so I gave my parents $400. Selena and Alfred Muno are suing Haley Muno in the amount of $1,100. The co-plaintiffs claim their daughter was distracted when she drove her car into their driveway gate and needs to pay for the damage. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Muno, uh, you are here today suing your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. For $1,100. That is correct. What in the world happened? I'm suing my daughter because she broke the driveway gate. She came home late one night from, from a party, okay? And um, she, was, she was at the gate and I heard this loud clang, okay? Um, I got up, I went out to the gate and, and she broke the gate. She said she clicked the gate, okay, the remote, and, um, and it started to open, but uh, she, it, it, it stopped, it, and, and she, she hit it dead on before she had time to go ahead and hit the brakes, okay? Now, now the gate, Your Honor, the gate, Your Honor, wa was, wasn't 100%, okay? It would, it would hesitate mm -hmm. about mid midway through okay but we all knew that and okay. she knew that and now i paid fifteen hundred dollars i completely replaced the okay, whole okay so why gate. are you suing her for one thousand one hundred i've already paid him four hundred dollars oh, oh, i see oh um i have uh, an estimate here um if you would like to see i um felt really bad about it all, of course. Um, so I called the gate company and told them that I had bumped the lock and that the lock was broken. And so I gave my parents $400 for the lock. Would that have fixed the gate? So it would have been operational again? The lock would have been fixed, but the gate would have still hesitated, as he mentioned. Okay, so it would have been back to normal. Yes. Coming up. I love my daughter. Um, I just want her to become more responsible. And this is really the last straw for us. We're back with the case of Selena and Alfred Muno, who are suing their daughter, Haley Muno, for property damage. All right. So why did you not just do that, uh, Mr. Muno? 
Just fix the lock, which she broke. Well, I, I felt that repairing it is not solving the situation. It's, okay. it's still okay. going to uh, hesitate. Okay. And um, I checked the cameras the next day. Mm -hmm. And while the gate was opening, she was looking down. I think she was on her cell phone with her boyfriend. Were you on your cell phone? I was. I was just coming back from a party, a friend's birthday party. And uh, my boyfriend, Jeremy, uh, called to make sure that I made it home safely. It was a very brief exchange, um, and it was mostly muscle memory, like where the gate hesitates. And um, I didn't have enough time to stop before I hit the gate. Mr. Muno, so then why sue your daughter for the rest of the $1,100, for the rest of the $1,500, if she gave you enough money to repair the gate? Because under the law, I have to put you back to where you were before she bumped into the gate. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure why she owes you 1,100. Your and Honor. why you couldn't have talked about this at home versus coming here. Okay, well, number one, this is not the only uh, unreasonable un un thing okay. she's done. All right, obviously that's unreasonable, but she paid for it. Mrs. Muno, do you have anything to add to this? Uh, Your Honor, I'm here supporting my husband. I, I agree with what he's doing here. I love my daughter. Um, I just want her to become more responsible. And this is really the last straw for us. Judge Perez's verdict when justice for all returns. Does she listen to you at home? I think she does. I, I, but I mean, I, I get a feeling that maybe she doesn't listen to you because that's why you brought her to court. I mean, do you listen to your parents? I, yes. Do you I, really I, actually listen to what they're saying to you? Do you understand what they're saying to you? I understand that I have caused financial strain on them and I'm doing my best. I don't, to... I don't think it's just financial strain. I think that what they're trying to, to teach you, when I hear listen, it's not like listen to the words, listen to the intent behind what your parents are telling you. Oh my God, really finally you broke the gate because you were on the phone with your boyfriend? Of course that's frustrating, and of course they yelled at you. But what are they really trying to say? Grow up? All right, so based on the evidence, I will deny the plaintiff's claim of $1,100. Good luck to you all. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The co-plaintiff's claim has been denied. I just want you guys to know that I heard you, and I heard what the judge said, and I'm going to do better, and I'm going to start helping out more. I'm glad you learned something, Haley. Um, That's really good to hear.